Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, um, I'm going to do a tutorial today that uh, a lot of people has been asking me. Now, this tutorial is for vanilla Minecraft, but you need to edit some files outside of Minecraft. So when I'm saying vanilla Minecraft, I mean you when you download the map, you do not need to download or run any mods at all to see this. Okay, so this has been requested a lot. On pretty much every video I've uploaded based on the scoreboard, I get this question. So if you have a look on the right-hand side, Okay, you will see that um, I have various ranks on my server. Okay, now these are actually all teams. So I've got a knight team, a squire team, a nozzling team, a paladin team, uh, a noz team, or, which is just me. Okay, and you'll see that I've actually got the team name displayed next to the actual name of the person. Now, at the moment, unfortunately, none of these people are on, on, online except for Cardboard 10. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to show you guys just how the system works by just bringing him to me. So I'm going to teleport uh, Cardboard 10 to me. To me. Um, okay, so here is Cardboard 10. Now you'll also see that on top of his name, he's got Noslings um, and then the, his, his actual name. So that's the team he's in. So on the right-hand side, you'll see he's, an, he's, he's a new player on the server. So he hasn't been voted up to be a squire yet. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually turn him into a squire. And to do that, I'm just going to add... Um, I'm going to add some... Set his nozzling score to 20. Set... So I'm just going to do cardboard to 20. And you'll see immediately... Oops. What did I do wrong here? Uh, cardboard. Ah, then I need to do... Uh, not n these nozzlings, nozzlings to 20. The moment I do that, you'll see, ta-da, he actually turns into a squire. So he's now a squire. Okay, so when the knights get, to get, get, get together, they can actually decide whether a squire becomes a knight. So to become a knight, so let's just say, you know what, yeah, let's make him a knight. I'm going to change his nozzling score to 50. And ta-da, he's now a knight. And then in time, we can say, fine, you know what, he's been a very, very good knight and he can now maybe become like a moderator. I'm now going to change him into a Templar. So you can see the Templar above his name and you'll see it on the, on the right hand side. And then eventually, you know what, he's been an incredibly good player. Let's turn him into a Paladin, which is actually my admins or Paladins. Okay, right, and there we go. He is now in the paladin team but what i'm going to do is i'm actually as he's a new player and as seeing that he's helped me i am now actually going to keep him as a squire right so there we go okay cool so this is what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to actually add the ne the, the actual team name on the right not necessarily how i actually did the whole trick with the score that i'll that isn't it it will be in a a video that i'll do very very shortly okay so um Let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in my uh, tutorial build world. Now, what you see over here is a bunch of uh, tutorials I'll be doing this week that deals with vanilla server management. So over here, we really have um, setting up a world spawn point and ensuring that all new users spawn at a particular spot. Uh, I've got contraband items removal over here. I've got uh, on here. We've got multiple area protection. We've got multiple different versions of chest protection. We've got an auto announce. And what I'm now just going to be using today um, is um, the rank manager. So player rank manager. Now um, I'm just going to use the teams I've created for this to show you how to change uh, the tag on a person's name. So I've created the teams you would normally find on a server, which is an owner, uh, an admin, mods, uh, players, and then a killer team. Okay, so I'm going to be using these teams to actually create the tags and show you how, how this works. Now, I'm not going to be, do, be doing this in-game. Unfortunately, it cannot be done in-game. So even though this will work on a vanilla Minecraft, you still need to go outside and edit it with an external editor. So I'm going to save and quit this. Okay. I'm going to just show you guys. I'm going to go to the Minecraft uh, forum. And I'm going to put the link into the description. What you want to do is you want to get yourself something called an NBT editor, which allows you to edit the data files of your Minecraft worlds. Now, I'm on a Mac, so I need to uh, download something called Mono Runtimes to actually run this program. But if you're on, on Windows, you just 
in theory can be just download this program and use it. So this is something called NBT Explorer. Okay, so I've already got it installed. So I'm just going to uh, boot it up. Right, so this is NBT Explorer. Now, immediately on the left-hand side, you'll see Save. So this is where all of your worlds are saved. Now, I'm going to look for... Um, that kept uh, copy. So I'm looking for, right, the world that I've created, which is the one over here. Okay, I'm going to open it up. I'm then going to look for my da for the data folder. Okay, I'm going to open that up. I'm looking for the scoreboard data folder. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to open up the four entries. Now, what I'm interested in at the moment is the teams. So I click open that up. Okay. And then there is my, f my ver five teams that I have created. So the first team I've created was the owner, which is me. So first of all, allow friendly fires on, see friendly, uh, friendly invisibles I can see. Um, this is the display name. So this is the name that um, comes up when, you, when you're in a team. This is the, the name uh, you use for internally so if you're creating the team or you're running any kind of test for you use this name and then we have a prefix and a suffix now at the moment the prefix is the color code for that team and the suffix just basically means um, clear the color so anything between that color code and this code here would be a color anything after this color code would be normal would be a normal color Okay, so what we want to do is we want to actually just copy that color, the, the suffix color. So I'm just going to go edit. I'm going to right click. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go copy. Okay, it's just because I have trouble finding that character in my keyboard. I'm going to go to prefix. I'm going to go edit. And then I'm going to give it a space. Well, oh, I don't really need a space. And I'm just going to say, I'm going to type in the name I want displayed. So I want owner. I'm going to give it a colon. And then I'm going to paste um, the closing tag. So what we now have is it'll only change owner to the color I want. So if I now just click save, you'll see I've now added the prefix tag. And now you'll do exactly the same to the rest. So here we have player. So I'll go to my prefix. So the, the player prefix has no color. Right, so it's just a normal white. So we'll just say player, and then I'm going to go colon, and I am just going to add um, the the SR that I had before, just so that it actually takes the space into account. Otherwise, it won't take the space, and it'll just be all bundled together. So I'm just going to do this to all of them. So then we have killer. Um, I'm going to go into there. I'm going to edit. I'm going to add the word killer. Okay. This will team names will make all make sense when I show you uh, the player management. I'm going to go into admin, I'm going to edit, I'm going to go admin, colon, and then I'm going to pa paste this. Did I do that with a killer one as well? Um, no, I didn't add a kit, add colon, so let's just go add. Alright, there we go, and then last but not least we have mods. So I'm going to edit, uh, mod and paste that in. So once we've done that, we just save it. Okay, once that's saved, that is it. I'm going to go back into Minecraft, I'm going to go to my scoreboard tut world, and now you'll see on the right hand side, I now have a mod. Okay, so if I now change my, um, if I change my scoreboard players set Dragnos, and I'm going to change my, my status to 60, Okay, you'll now see I become owner. Right, if I change my status to 40, I become admin. If I change it to uh, 20, I become mod. If I change it to, uh, if I change it to, to, where are we, one. Okay, I become a player. Okay, and killer, what did I put killer? Uh, oh, killer is, is a different, as a different, as a different thing. So, um... So if I just go scoreboard, uh, play uh, teams, join, killer, dragnos, you'll see then that's changed my tag. And now if I was a multiplayer, this tag will display above my name as well. And doesn't matter where I have this, so if I've got a scoreboard over there as well, it'll also display it. Okay, and that is it. So, um, 
what I'm going to be doing is so tomorrow or yeah tomorrow I'll probably have the full that tutorial out where I show you how I actually type in different scores and how I manage players going up and down. Um, so yeah, cool. Please please stay tuned for the rest of the week. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you like it, please rate, comment, subscribe, share it. Yeah, share it, get it out there. Cool guys, thanks for watching and uh, as always, I will catch you all later.